Hi everyone, this is Joel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. So this is gonna be the first video out of the many that I will do. I will make this a series of videos for those of you who want to start ice skating. I know that a lot of you have been requesting this and I know that a lot of you had the motivation to start ice skating and I'm so happy to know that. And so if you want to see tips and tricks for beginner skaters and just some general knowledge about ice skating, then please keep on watching. So I'm very fortunate to be joined with three of my friends. I have Ning and Kian with me to help me with demonstrating some of these moves. And so thank you so much guys for helping me film this. I really appreciate it. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So a couple of things of course you need to remember when trying out ice skating. You need to wear very comfortable clothing. You don't have to layer on a lot of clothing when you ice skate. It would just restrict movement. So I would recommend you wearing something warm but comfortable as well. I know that there are rinks that have helmets that are free of charge so please utilize that if you feel like you need a helmet please wear it remember that the very first thing you need to be mindful of when skating is safety aside from the fun factor of course so yeah i can't stress this enough safety is very very important so that's my introduction so now let's move on to the lessons so lesson one is feet placement when you're in the rink you have to be mindful of your feet placement because sometimes your rental skates are really soft that it would allow you to go over on your inside or your outside edge so just make sure that your feet are planted firmly on the ice now if you can't help it and you feel like it's doing that on your own you may have laced up your skates a little bit too loose so if it is your first time skating and you're not sure how to tie your skates, please ask someone from the staff of the ring to help you lace up your skates or just ask someone who knows how to tie their skates. Now, lesson two will be arm placement. So when you lift up your arms, make sure that they're in the V position in front of you. Not too far back, not too far front, just right. Imagine placing your arms in front of a table. So that's how your arm position should be when skating. Now, lesson three would be marching in place. Now that we've discussed how your feet and your arms should be, now it's time to march. So with your feet and your arms on the correct position, then you then lift up your knees one leg at a time and make that sound on the ice. So you have to make sure that you're shifting your weight from left to right. Now, lesson four would be marching forward. When you march forward, you have to make sure that, of course, your weight is also forward. And just take small steps. I recommend you doing two to three steps of marching forward, and then after that, put your hands on your knees. During this tutorial, you're gonna see me do that a lot. Now, lesson five would be how to properly fall down. So there is a way to properly fall down. So the reason why I was telling you guys a while ago to always keep your weight forwards is if for example you feel like you're gonna fall down that just makes sure that you don't fall backwards and you don't hit your head which is not what we want so always make sure that if you feel like you're gonna fall and you can't resist it always make sure that you keep your weight forwards that way you don't hit your head because we wouldn't want that now, lesson six would be how to stand up properly. I see a lot of public skaters trying to stand up like this, and that's not the proper way to stand up. It, aside from the fact that it looks ugly, it's also dangerous because you're actually putting your weight on your hands. And then since you're a beginner skater, it's not really advisable to do that because you might slip off of your blade again when trying to do that. So please, please don't do that. So what you do is you cross your leg and then you turn over to one side so you're on all fours. And now what you need to do is to take one hand and put it on your knee and then the other hand on the ice and then slowly put your hands on your knees and then stand up. 
Now, lesson 8 would be about two foot glides. So this is actually a pre-alpha element. This is one of the basic skating elements that you need to do. So once you're comfortable with gliding and putting your hands on your knees, now try uh, marching three to four times and then instead of putting your hands on your knees, you then just bend your knees and keep your feet parallel to the ice and just balance. Now our next lesson would be hands on your knees. Aside from it protects your head, if and when you feel like you're gonna fall, it just it's a very stable position to be in so you can regain your balance before you can stand up and try to skate again. So this is very very important. So last but not least, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a basic stop. So the basic stop that you can do is a snowplow stop and even though it's the most basic stop that you can learn it is kind of difficult even if you are starting ice skating so I would just recommend just putting your hands on your knees until you slow down but the snow flow stop is the most basic ice skating stop that I guess I can teach you but it does require a lot of practice so I'm gonna be showing you an exercise that also helped me learn my snow flow stop so what you can do is you can go to the boards and then hold the boards as tight as you can. Bend your knees and make sure that your right foot or your left foot, whichever is the stronger leg, is on an inside edge and just scrape the ice. So um, you have to practice this a couple of times until your body remembers how to do it and until your inner thighs gain strength. And then once you can do it properly, then that's the time I would suggest for you to do that. So what you can do is skate forwards a couple of times, bend your knees, and then gently slide your foot in front of you on an inside edge. So this is very, very difficult for a beginner skater, but I would recommend you doing the exercises first, just so that your body remembers how to do the scraping of the ice using your inside edge. So yeah, that's all the tips I have for now. If you have any questions, sound them off in the comment section below. And I'd also like to know what other videos you would want to see from me next. Of course, I will be doing a series of videos about this, so please stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!